people think consumer drones are just fancy toys. But here's the part that almost nobody realizes. The drone you can buy today is more advanced than what many governments were flying just 15 years ago. Honestly, just five years ago. Not for weapons, for vision. Early drones could barely stay in the air. No GPS, no stability, grainy footage. If the wind picked up above five miles an hour, you were done. Today, a consumer drone can lock onto satellites, stabilize itself in midair, avoid obstacles, fly miles away, and capture detail the human eye can't see, all at the push of a button. And that didn't happen by accident. Drones evolved because photographers needed better angles. Engineers needed safer inspections. Search and rescue teams needed eyes where humans couldn't go. The technology got better because the use cases mattered. But then something changed. As drones became smaller, cheaper, and more powerful, governments around the world had to ask a new question. What happens when this level of capability is available to everyone? There were a few wake-up calls, drones showing up near airports, stadiums, and even close to political leaders. One widely reported incident involving Nicolas Maduro didn't introduce a new threat. It exposed how accessible the technology had already become. That's when the conversation shifted. Not ban drones, but build responsibly into the technology itself. That's why modern drones don't that's why modern drones today don't just fly, they self-regulate. They know where they're allowed to go, they refuse to enter restricted airspace, they broadcast their identity, they return to home automatically if something goes wrong. In many cases, the drone will stop you before you make a mistake or even attempt to make a mistake as well. That's the part most people never hear. So overall, drones aren't dangerous by default. They're tools, and increasingly, they're tools designed with guardrails. As the technology advances, so does the safety around it. Quietly, deliberately, and mostly out of the spotlight. So maybe the better question isn't, should we trust drones? It's, do we understand them well enough to realize how much thought already went into making them safe for us?